This is an NPN transistor. A transistor is made up of three pins. One's the base, the, a collector, and the emitter. In a transistor, we use a transistor by putting a very small current in milliamps into the base, which lets off a bigger current through the collector and into the emitter, out of the emitter. So we, using a transistor, we can make a small touch sensor. So we can put the battery here and we can connect power, we can connect power and put it here, at like a switch. So if I put my finger here, because my finger is has a very high resistance in mega ohms, if I put it here, the output will become very small in milliamps and it will be just enough to open up this big gate and let out the big current. But to let out the current, we need to send some current into the collector. So to do that, I put this in. And if I want to light an LED, I put it through a big resistor so I don't burn the LED. And I put that there. And then finally, I connect that all the way to ground, completing the circuit. So now, if I put my finger here, it'll light up the LED. Here, I have that circuit. So I'll connect the power. I'll connect the power over here. And I'll connect ground over here. So just like in this um, drawing of the circuit, if I put this, it turns on. So what if, so it turns on. So what if I want to make it brighter? Here I have two different um, substances. There's water and water with a little bit of salt in it. So um, I'm gonna have a dry finger and I'm gonna put the next one in some water and I'm gonna put the next one in some salt water. So the dry finger will light, up, light it up like this, the wet finger will light it up like this, and the salt finger will light it up just as bright. Whoops, I accidentally put way too much water. So um, let's do that test again. So here's my dry finger again, and it lights it up very dimly. And here's my water here, and it lights it up uh, bright. And this one is very bright because this is my salt finger. But what if I wanted to make a circuit that continuously made the LED light up as bright as it can be? So to do that, I can, um, instead of putting an LED here, I can put another um, transistor. And I have to make this resistor bigger than it was before because this time I'm putting the... Uh, current from the emitter into another transistor. And um, here we are. Into another transistor. So now, in s this time, I'll connect um, uh, the current into the collector. And I'll connect the emitter into a um, an LED which will then connect to ground. We also have to add um, a resistor because, because uh, there's, I'm using a 5.5 volt battery and the emitter will have a lot of current and we have to use, and because on, the LED can only take in 2.7 volts, we have to use a resistor which can share that current. So now that we've put the resistor in place, here is the circuit I have um, uh, just draw, drawn and I'll put the power in these outlets and now if I put it with my dry finger it will be this bright and now even if I put it with a copper wire which is um, much less conductive um, it will Bright, it will light up just as brightly. 
So this time, the LED, it doesn't matter whether you have salt in your fingers or water in your fingers, it will stay just as bright. That could be used a two and two, 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 a transistor. We used a 150 ohm resistor and here we used a one kilo ohm resistor. And we don't even necessarily have to use a, a LED for this circuit. We can also uh, use a buzzer, which will give a buzz when we put this in. We can also put an electromagnet, or we can also put a relay, which connect, which can give much higher um, voltage that a, a normal transistor can't do. And we can use that relay to connect to a house light bulb. And also you can use this same circuit as a water sensor. If you cover up all of these uh, components, if the water touches here because water is conductive, it will light up the LED.